So welcome back to another video guys. It has been a long time since I've posted an actual like video video. So this time I'm going to be showing you guys how to maximize your space for a small cage for your Deku or just to save space, just like ways and tips to save space. Uh, you can call them hacks if you want. So yeah, let's just get started right away and he is waiting, he's quite bored right now. So let's get started on preparing his cage. So I'll start by showing you his water which is pretty simple, pretty standard honestly. It's just on the side of his cage. I've actually put it with this like um, big paper clip thing and I've like curved the edges so it just stays on it but that's pretty obvious I think for a lot of you just to add water accessible 24 7. Then there's the wheel and as you can see I've actually lifted it off the ground so he can fit underneath there. I've done this with hooks here and up there as well and honestly he can jump up there pretty easily and he likes the height too. I've done it so that it doesn't quite touch the top but it's very very close um, so I can't really put it any higher. Here is his hammock, kind of destroyed as you can see and um, I've hung this. And then finally obviously there's this little barrier that I've made with this brick and this kind of like wood bridge. Okay, so Loki, Lucky sorry, is waiting and he's getting very impatient, so let's just get started on the additional things we have to add. So I've got everything all laid out here, his sticks, stones, anything we might need for this little project. First of all, I've got this bowl, and it is a dog bowl, but I do use it for them, so we're just going to place it in here right in there in the corner and we're going to add some um, hay. I forgot the name for a second but we're going to get a hay and add it. So I'm going to be using this hay. It's um, it's alright. I think it's the first time um, we've tried this but I'm pretty sure it's not from Pets at Home though. I got it somewhere else but I don't remember from where. Might be Jolly's but I'm not sure if you know what that is. But anyways, I'm going to be using this one. So we've just filled it up, and he's already eating the um, stuff that's spilled out. They really like this hay, but yeah, I fill it up. I don't squish it down too much. I keep it quite puffy, so he can just go inside and um, just make a little burrow inside. Alright, so that wasn't really like to save space or anything, but it's just something that I needed to add in his cage. And, um, yeah, I, not everything is going to be to save space, but, you know, I will add them in whilst I'm <laughs> making their cage. Yeah, so now you can see how he loves to, like, go inside and dig around. Also, he sleeps in here. I've put, um, hay in here before, and he just pushes it all out. He doesn't really like it in there, so I've never put anything in the hammocks anymore. Well, tube hammocks. So, now I put it here, and he loves it here. So, next I have the big branch log sticks, whatever you want to call them. But um, these ones are bigger than the chew ones, like these, these ones are their chewing sticks, so you can see how much bigger they are. And these ones, I don't know why they don't really chew them, but um, yeah, I just added in for them to climb on, and I add them so it's like, not just flat like they are now, I pile them up on top of each other so it's more like, natural, like what they would find in the wild, and so they can climb up higher, I guess. They just like it better that way. So I'll have that go over there so he can climb across that. And then finally we have this one over the top here. 
where they can climb on top of there. I do do a different um, each time I clean out their cage, just to like mix it up a little bit. I would leave this, um, if they do like this, this is the first time I've tried it like this, but if they like this like arrangement, let's just say, I would leave it like that for a few um, weeks. Um, like every time I clean them out every week, I would leave it um, until I guess they get bored of it or I get bored of seeing it that way and I'll change it. So we'll take a moment to say hello to Ricky, he's actually eating a flower right now. Alright, so next up, <laughs> I want to make them another hammock, so I will explain this. Um, so you might have seen it in my other videos, but it was actually a blanket and they've completely destroyed it and made it into this big lump. It was an old blanket, I know it's pink, I couldn't find any other coloured ones, but um, yeah, it's fine. It was the only old one I had, and guys, if you're going to give them any old t-shirts, um, like, towels, sorry, I literally forgot the word. Um, if you're going to give them any of this stuff, if you're going to make stuff out of them, make sure it's something old that you don't want to reuse, because they will destroy it, like this. Um, but I knew that when I gave them this, so... This one was an old one. Anyways, let's um, let's just keep going with the video. So you need something similar if you want to create this. Even a new one will do. But you will need to like measure it out and maybe cut it if it's too big. But anyways, um, and you're also going to need hooks. I got these from like hammocks that I've had. Um, they gave me extras, and I've like kept all of them. So I have so many. I've lost a couple. Um, but every time I buy new hammocks, I keep their extra hooks. Anyways, so because I've never done this before, I do have to do this off camera and kind of experiment. And all, all I'm going to do is put um, these hooks through somewhere. Um, I'm not really sure where, but I've got to like lay this out better. And like this, for example, it is kind of full of sawdust, but I've got to lay it out like this. And on each corner, I put a hook, um, and then I want to put it to the cage. So it's pretty simple. It would be better with like a normal, like towel, to be honest, like not ruined one. But I guess this will be more comfortable for them. So I'm gonna attach the hooks, and I'm gonna show you when I'm done. So as you can see. I've got a hook on each corner and I did manage to lay it out a little bit better. Um, so now it looks like sort of what it did before, um, but better than the lump that was earlier. So now I'm just going to attempt to just like put this at the top of their cage, um, well Lucky's cage, and I'm going to show you guys when I'm done that. So this is what it looks like so far. It is a massive, massive hammock, and it kind of connects with the other one, if you can see, down there. So it's easier for um, Lucky to climb on that. And it does create a little nice shelter over here. A little nice shady bit. Um, it is starting to get hot, and 
from my window, which is just near the cage, the sun does shine through a lot. But there's these ugly bits hanging around, but I guess you could just cut that. I might cut it, but I'm not sure. But also, this is just hanging a bit too low. I think it will just like not let them get on top of these. So um, I got this extra hook, so I'm using five hooks here, and I'm going to hook it right there somewhere, and then we're going to put it on the top of the cage. So it just hangs like that and creates a little like shelter on this side as well, I guess, just so it closes on this side too. Okay, so there we go, that was really easy, really simple, and now I'll just test it real quick. It seems pretty sturdy, pretty good. Oh, it has some holes in there, um, but it should be okay. And yeah, I hope he actually uses it. Oh, sorry guys. I just kicked a stone. Anyways, <laughs> this is what it looks like um, so far, and it's looking pretty good. It looks like a lot is going on. He's going to be really busy, and that's what we want. And yeah, you know what? I might cut that, or I might just like like stick it over the top maybe if I can uh, okay there you go that looks much neater I managed to put it like over the top where there was a little hole and this actually looks pretty good apart from the fact it's pink but that's okay and yeah Lucky is still eating his hay Okay, moving on, we're going to add his little accessories, cage accessories, stones. Okay, and um, now the toys. So I've actually made a couple myself. I made this one, and I've tied this string to it. It was kind of already made, but I tied this string to it, and I'm going to tie it up onto one of the sides. Next, I made this. Um, I can't really explain this one because I don't really know what I did. I just kind of like went with it and <laughs> it came out looking like this. Oh, it looks like the snitch from Harry Potter. Anyways, that. And then I have this toy ball that you might have seen in my other videos. And then I've tied that to this longer string that I'm going to tie up and that will save more space because it's not on the floor so hopefully it will save more space if he takes it down oh i'm gonna be so angry but before we do that i want to add some cardboard um don't worry he doesn't eat this he just shreds it up and um basically just puts it as bedding so he can create his own bedding and it keeps him pretty busy if your degus do eat this though um because i've heard some people's degus do don't give it to them because it's probably going to be bad for their digestive system. So, but my one, uh, fine with it. He's actually <laughs> kicking it away. Yes, he's inspecting if everything is to his liking. Hello. He has wanted cuddles like more in these past few months for some reason. Um, and I do think he's getting a little bit lonely without Ricky. I was considering like um, getting him another Degu. But it's not really um, possible for me to do that right now. It's just timing is really bad. And also this cage is not really um, great for that. But guys, I have some news. And that's that I will get another cage. Well, I hope to get another cage for him. It's just a matter of timing and also just getting the right one for just also one that can go on to like that one is now. But yeah, apart from that, I just um, really want to get him another cage. I did want to get him another Degu. I wanted to rescue one um, from the RSPCA. Um, 
there are so many there so if you want a Degu I recommend rescuing ones I rescued these little babies and they have been so good to me and I just love them I couldn't have asked for any other Degu they are so wonderful obviously apart from the fact that they did fight and I've had to separate them that was not good and um, but yeah if I was to get him another Degu I would obviously go slow on introducing them but if I was I would obviously make a video on that um, of like my journey on that if any of you are interested in introducing your Degus with um, another one but yeah that's that's for another video I'm talking too much now so let's get back to this one so I'm gonna offer him this little snitch Lucky. And he doesn't like it. Okay, well, that's a bit disappointing. I took ages to make it look like that, but that's okay. Whatever he likes. So we're just going to leave it in there, and we're going to put this somewhere. So because the string was quite tiny, I did tie it to the, like, wall of it. I didn't tie it to, like, the, the ceiling of the cage. And it can just slide um, from side to side. But he hasn't used it yet, so he likes the hay more, but that's okay. Next, for the most exciting one, this little hanging bowl. So I have tied it up here on the like ceiling of the cage, and it's just dangling down. It's kind of in the way of the wheel, I guess. I don't know, there was just not like any other space I could put it on, but it looks quite cute there. And, yeah, I, I feel like this is, this is done, this is, oh no, wait, it's not done. I have my ready, um, made, measured out food that I need to put somewhere, and I actually don't use their bowl anymore, and that's because I just, um, sprinkle it, well, not sprinkle it, I just put it around, like in little clumps, oh, he heard that, <laughs> in random places, and then, um, he has to go find them and that'll just keep him more busy and just doing something so he's just more entertained like during the day when I'm away as well I also put some sometimes in here just sprinkle a little bit of it just gonna put one oh and then right in that corner There we go, there's not much space here, but I'm going to put one in that corner as well. If he kind of moves. There we go. Okay, right next to this niche. Dang it. <gasps> okay. Um, but yeah, so he'll have to go find them. And yeah, I guess this just keeps him busy. So now this is the final product. It is a small cage. Guys, don't worry, I am planning on... Getting him a bigger one, I know everyone's going to be super concerned um, of how small this is, but I do try to make as much space as possible. We did not think that um, my degus were going to be separated forever, but apparently they will be, so we will be upgrading this temporary cage. It was supposed to be a temporary cage, it has been here for quite a long time to be honest. Um, but yeah, I feel like um, we need a tour right now, like a general tour. Okay, so down here we've obviously got his water, his wheel, his little danging thingy, and obviously all his like entertainment stuff on the floor, like sticks, also chew toys, all that stuff. We've got his giant logs, um, his other hanging toy, his brick thing down there, we'll call it the brick thing, some hay, and his hay, um, pot, bowl, in the corner, and then just an extra toy right there. Then over the top, we have, um, some space over this hammock, right there, so it does, um, have a little tunnel inside as well, and it's like a hammock tube, kind of mixes, and then we have all this space across here, um, for him to run across, run around on, and just, he has more spaces to, like, sleep on, more choice, um, of places to sleep. So this actually used to be 
right in that corner, just like over here, and you used to just like sleep in there, make little tunnels through it, and it just used to take up so much space, and I feel like now he's got a little bit more space to run around. Also, this one isn't so much in the way, it's more like hanging on top so he can easily go underneath it. But yeah, that was a quick um, tour, and I hope you enjoy this video, and that it gives you a bit, I like a bit of ideas on how to improve your Deku's space in their cage. If you maybe have a smaller cage, maybe you're not able to get a bigger one, you might not be able to afford it, and um, that's okay as long as you try to um, make your Deku's have bigger space. And also I don't recommend keeping large groups of Deku's in smaller cages. But um, yeah, Lucky's there eating happily. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. I think this one was a little too long for um, the stuff I did, but I don't know. Um, I hope you guys liked it anyways. Okay, bye guys.